For special moments when you have a little extra time, it can be fun to have friends over for Elevenses. Elevenses is traditionally a social gathering that takes place around Eleven, hence the name. It has currently gone out of vogue, but I think that is such a shame. At Elevenses, coffee is typically served along with a breakfast cake. How wonderful to invite a friend over, or two, and have a chat over cake and a cup of tea or coffee. A homemade cake would be ideal, but it isn't totally necessary. So I have to tell you, I never heard of Elevenses until I read Jennifer L. Scott's book. Now, that's pretty crazy to me considering I've lived in the UK for almost four years now. So one of the things that I'm finding to be really chic, and it's what I look for when I'm either looking for a recipe to make Elevenses at home or pick it up at a bakery is if there's some type of juxtaposition between the sweet and then the other ingredient. So what do I mean by that? Have you ever had a chocolate zucchini cake or a chocolate courgette cake if you're here in the UK or a chocolate lime cake or for my husband's birthday I made him a pistachio, a citrus pistachio cake. Actually I think it was a turmeric citrus pistachio cake. It was divine. I'm finding when a cake can have some type of juxtaposition like that, it really does seem a lot more elevated and it tastes a lot more elevated. I find when there's something sweet mixed in with maybe a vegetable or a nut, it just, it really, or maybe even a spice, it just completely lifts the experience. So one of the places that I absolutely love going to for this in Bristol is the Bristol Loaf. They have so many cakes in there that if you're just looking to get something by the slice as opposed to having the entire cake at home, this is an amazing option. So you might not be in Bristol like I am, but where is somewhere local to you that you can pick up something like this? Especially if you're looking at implementing this into your life on a weekend only like we are, I think picking it up at a bakery seamlessly works into your lifestyle as opposed to baking it at home. Now my husband actually got me a mixer for my birthday. It was requested for a really long time. I'm glad to have it. And so for me, I'm looking at doing more baking at home because I want to flex and learn and expand that skill. But that being said, I am on a little bit of a weight loss journey. So maybe I might not be making these elevenses all the time, or I might save half of the batter, put it in the freezer, and then make it the following week. You will know what works best for you and your lifestyle, but there are ways that we can incorporate this in a chic and elevated way. If you're questioning making these things at home, totally don't. If you're not a great baker yet, let me tell you, I'm not either. But what I'm finding is, is that a lot of these things that we can make at home, they come across as a little bit more rustic, and rustic is chic. It doesn't need to be fancy, you don't need to be a pastry chef. If that's not something that's in your skill set, just know rustic can be chic too. So you've made your elevenses or you've gone to pick it up, where do you go to from here? You've got to eat it, right? <laughs> the best part. So I find it really easy for me to not set the table when my husband is home. So I'm trying to implement that more into my daily practices. But with that being said, even when you're having your elevenses on the weekend, why not set the table? You can totally put out a beautiful tablecloth, you can light some candles, and you can eat your elevenses. What I'm noticing is, is that I don't have any tablecloths or placemats right at this moment, so I'm looking at making almost like a capsule tablecloth wardrobe, <laughs> if that makes sense. And as I get some basics in there, then I'll start expanding with more patterns and having a little bit more fun that way. I'm also finding having various candlesticks at home is really useful as well. I'm loving giving them as gifts to people if I'm going to their home for the first time. I feel like there's something that is a little bit different, but also really beautiful to give to the host that's inviting you into their home. So do you light candles? I'm not talking about the candle that's going to bring fragrance through the room, but I'm talking about candlesticks. They are such a luxurious but minor thing that you can add to your elevenses or any dining experience that will help you elevate the experience. How many times can I say experience? <laughs> Next, let's talk about what you're dining on. Do you use your china? Do you have china? I think china is something that, I mean, I understand, you know, it's something that people used to spend a lot of money on, it used to be given as wedding gifts, etc. But I think that we got into a culture of only using that china in moments where it was fancy or important, and I think it's such a shame. 
I have two sets of china. One was thrifted and the other I started buying when I was in Canada. I was a broke student and I just felt like all of my money was going towards bills in school and bills in school. And so when I would pool together a little bit of money, I would put it towards getting the next little piece of china. There was this one time all I could afford was the, <laughs> was like the little piece of china that you put your spoon on after you've stirred your tea but it meant so much to me. And be it that it means so much to me, what a shame that I'm only using it in fancy moments. So my husband and I, when we eat our regular everyday meals, we eat on the thrifted china that I picked up. And then, you know, when I'm wanting to have some girls around or some family around, I have been using the china that I brought with me from Canada. Now I am gonna be looking at getting the rest of that china in due time, I'll probably just buy it in increments like I was before, but use your china. It is such a great and easy way with things that you have in the home that you can elevate the every, I want to say experience again, but <laughs> I think you know what I mean. <laughs> and last but not least, is it nice where you live? Is it nice where you live when you're watching this? <laughs> It's currently the middle of winter here in the UK at the time of me filming this, but in the spring and summer, we do go and dine outside quite often. Now we're in the process of renovating, we're in the process of, you know, it, getting plants in our garden. <laughs> I won't beat around the bush, but as we start to add more plants there and it gets beautified, it is such an amazing experience to go outside, let our dogs run around and take this Elevenses out there. So if you live somewhere where it's warm all the time, by all means, start implementing this now. But maybe if you don't live somewhere where it's nice all year round, start thinking about how you can beautify your outdoor space and take these elevenses outside. What a wonderful way to treat yourself every now and then and celebrate the day. Join us in our next video where we will chat all about chic brunches.